Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make money out of Printify. This is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial, so if you even never heard about what Printify is, this tutorial is going to help you so much in order to know how Printify works and how to make money out of it. So for those who don't know, basically Printify is a print-on-demand platform that allows you to sell your design and then sells it in the form of whatever product you want it to be. For example, it can be a sweatshirt, it can be a t-shirt, it can even be some home decor. All you have to do is upload your design in this platform and then the printing providers the shipping and all of the complicated stuff is going to be handled by printify now you're going to want to start to go to printify.com and then start signing up with either your email or you can even use gmail if gmail is not the email that you have you can just insert your email here and then create your password so I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my Gmail. All right, once you do that, we're going to have to answer some questions here. So first, you're going to want to describe your business. So do you have your own e-commerce stores or do you represent a nonprofit organization? Or are you a social media influencer or are you representing a company or other things? So let's say that I do have my own e-commerce stores and then we're going to want to choose our objective and i'm just going to say that this is going to be grow my current business and what brings you to printify i'm just going to say that this one is i'm just exploring and then i found out about printify through youtube all right once you're done with that you're going to see a dashboard that looks like this so here you'll be able to see the necessity of your businesses you can see your catalog you can manage your product you can take a look at your income your orders etc and let's go to the store settings first so here on the left side of the screen you'll be able to see the navigations menu and if you click on the store settings you'll be able to start naming your store so let's say that the store name is going to be moonlight and then you can go ahead and save it and you can also settings your shipping address by clicking on the ship from address right here you have the options to create a custom address or you can also just use the printify default so here on the printify default if someone return their product in case some things happen the return address will be the location where the product was printed so as i've said before all of the printing as well as the delivery and everything else is going to be handled by printify and we're going to go into that later on on the video so you can choose the return address as the original printify sender address or you can also create a custom address but it has to be a valid certain country so you can actually choose the countries from here and make sure that it is a valid address in case maybe you do have a warehouse and you would like to check it yourself etc you can definitely use custom address as your setting so they have us address great britain address and then germany address and then if you click on the order settings you'll be able to see all of the settings regarding about your order such as order approval in which you can settings up to manually or automatically so if you set on automatically it's going to be beneficial for the sake of time efficiency so you don't have to manually click the order to be fulfilled and it also going to affect your income since you're going to be charged for orders that are made so if you're going to approve the order at specific time let's say every day you only get single charge per day instead of getting charged every single time you get an order and then you can also settings on the tracking notification as well as delayed order for example if there are some orders who are delayed for whatever reason you can either manually send it to productions or you can automatically send it to other productions meaning that let's say that the delay was made because the printing provider have some problems on it you can choose the automatically send to productions and printify is going to select the 
print provider other printing provider than the one that you have selected earlier then you can also connect your printify to other platform but you do have to update your printify to be a printify premium then you have the branding option so let's say you want to add a thank you card you can definitely start designing a thank you card and it's going to be inserted into each one of your order as well as gift message which will going to help you with your branding so that people will know your branding better all right now that we know how to use setting the overall of our shop we're going to go straight into the product select men if you go to the catalog sections right here you'll be able to see a bunch of things that you can choose we have men's clothing women's clothing kids clothing foods health and beauty as well as accessories and they also have other options like best sellers new arrival eco-friendly etc so obviously you're going to want to choose first what kind of product you will want to design or what kind of product you will want to sell and if you are having a hard time choosing it you can always go to the best sellers and see what are the things that people are searching or selling the most so here are the list of the popular product categories on printify they have t-shirts sweatshirts hoodies wall decor mugs and phone cases so let's say i want to start with sweatshirts so that is what i'm going to click and then here are some of the selections of the sweatshirts and if you feel like this is too little you can just go to the view all sweatshirts options and they're going to give you some more selection of sweatshirts that you can design and you can also choose the target market that you want as you can see on the left side of the screen here they have the filter section so you can filter the colors the branding the print area target market etc so definitely use that in case you want to specify your product i'm just going to let it as it is for now and let's say i want to go with this one's right here and then if you click on it you'll be able to see all of the details about the product so you got the name the available colors and you can see that right off the bat we have this printify choice providers and if you click on provider info you'll be able to see more about the provider that are going to print and ship to your customers but if you would like to see other providers you can always click show additional providers and then they're going to show you some more providers that will be able to print or make the sweatshirts for you and you can see the ratings and then the average production time the shipping cost as well as the original price so definitely go ahead and check that out and take all of these details into consideration i'm just going to use this one for now so i'm going to go ahead and click on start designing now for the designing part you can actually create one directly on printify by going to for example ai image and then add your text prompt or choose on the available ai image that they have or you can just also slap on some text or add some graphics that they have but i personally would prefer to actually create all of the designs from scratch and again if you're still new all you have to do is use one of the uh, probably well-known platform that you can use to design something which is canva so go ahead and go to canva and then go ahead and click create design and simply use t-shirts as your canvas so here on the left side of the screen you can totally see all of the available templates that you can use or you can just make one from scratch so i'm going to go ahead and design one and then i'm going to get back once it's done all right so let's say that this is going to be my design all i have to do is click on share and then download this as png once it's done i'm going to go back into my printify and i'm going to go and click on this upload options and upload the picture from my device and as you can see my picture is uploaded and inserted into the product and all i have to do is adjust it and once it's done you can also try to take a look at how the 
design will look like on other color so you can go ahead and select variant in order to add it into your shop and there you have it you got your product created and all you have to do is go ahead and click on continue to publish it now in order to publish your shop you're going to want to create a sales channel and you can do that by connecting it into the available sales channels that you have such as Etsy's or maybe Shopify or you can just launch up a pop-up store and use it as your Printify store. So here is the product that we've made earlier and if you would like to see how it will looks like on the store you can go ahead and click on visit store and there you have it. And that's basically it. That is how you can use Printify to create a store and then design your product and make money out of it. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.